yourself a beverage or hop if you wanna just bounce to my leverage. The evidence, as they say, is in the pudding. So show me the money, like my name is Cuba Gooding. So we're out on my flat now in Clapham in London, ready to go on a journey to Oxford. So we did a massive Christmas giveaway that started about a month ago. And that giveaway basically was 700 pounds worth of rugby office stuff, a signed all wax jersey, Lee Burns, autobiography, Adidas Predators, supplements, whatever. I'm gonna show that to you in a bit. But so the plan today is we're gonna drive up there, deliver the goods well ourselves, because I don't trust it in the post. There's a lot of value there. I don't wanna lose any of that. So the winner is a mother. She's got three boys who love rugby. One's 12, one's 15, and one's 17, I believe. So we're gonna take two of the boys, the 15 and 17 year olds to the gym. and give them some tips and advice on their form and kind of what they can do better to make sure that as they progress through the, through the years in rugby, that their form's good, essentially. Obviously, I've worked with a lot of strength and conditioning coaches to develop the rugby warfare training program. And that's what we're gonna do today, one of the workouts from that program. I'm gonna to chat to them about nutrition. So they've got a supplement bundle now as well. Yeah, we're gonna give them the prizes and top of supplements, training, nutrition, and then they're off on all day on Saturday, and then it's Christmas time. so. It should be quite a good trip now and uh, they'll have some good stuff. So let me show you what they win, or what they've won. This is the meals, the high protein meals. Eat me clean, high protein, low carb, good fats, that's right. Call of Duty World War II. So Lee Byrne gave us one of these books to give away, so thanks Lee. It's an awesome book, really good for any rugby fan really to see like insider view of like a rugby player that's gone from, you know, all the way up to the levels of the Lions. So then we got the supplements here, the casein, which is a slow digesting protein, so you can have a before bed. We've got whey protein post-workout. And then we got the amino acids that you can take during a workout or like before a game. So they picked, he's a size 12, so he's he's a quite a big guy, I think, the 17 year old, he's probably bigger than me. <laughs> but he's got a size 12 feet, but we've got him some, he, he, picked, his, his, he picked the colour <laughs> Adidas Predators. Uh, brand new ones of the range stuff. I think £779 pounds worth of rugby water kit in there. Sizes mix and match for her boys. And then I reckon the best prize, I think this this on its own is an amazing prize. So I remember in the last video we met Ofer and he did the signed jersey so you didn't see it signed last time but that's it signed. All the all black players. All the met. So yeah this is class. So this was from the New Zealand versus France in Lyon. The date and I think Ofer's name's here. Yeah. So all of names were there then. Honestly, that this is a hell of a prize. Not gonna lie, what a prize this is. So yeah, I can't wait to deliver it to them. I think they're looking forward to it. Should make some of these Christmas, I think. Scott Claus on the move. Also, off topic of the giveaway, this is a sample of the new Stealth Camel hoodie. So, so this is gonna be one of the new hoodies. So it'll be the hoodie, the t-shirt, and the joggers. So the t-shirt will have the camel down here, and the joggers will have the camel up here and it's going to be in stealth black like this and then green so that's coming in like Jan Feb and Karma was one of our best products to, well it still is one of our top selling products and we haven't even sold it for nearly a year now the problem last time was the print we wanted to use was a customised print and it was really hard to get that print on the material we wanted because we hate, well I hate polyester material I wanted to use this kind of cotton uh, elastic material that fits really well and sitting, like, the sort of the brand is known for kind of the high quality cotton and the elastane and stuff so finding a, a manufacturer who can actually do this print if you look at it here now it's like a stealth print that doesn't fade that is the softer touch it was it's taken literally a year to do so that's why it's been so long for people asking all the time where's the cam stuff where's the cam stuff but yeah this is kind of the sample so these will be changed this will be like finalized by this beer logo's fine but yeah this will be this is like a sneak peek of the uh, the new camera hoodie I love it. Yeah, so we're on the way now up to Oxford, but on the way, we're gonna pop in to see uh, Ryan. So Ryan was involved with rugby warfare before his Made in Chelsea days. And I've been giving him kit over the last, well, two to three years. I've known him through, a, I lived with one of his best mates in Bristol. And he's been kind of instrumental in like helping with the kind of the fit and stuff for the bigger boys. Cause I was making the clothing for like to fit me perfectly. And I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and Ryan's like 6'2", and he's, a, he's quite big. So, well, a lot bigger than me anyway. So it was good to get his perspective and stuff and like he's worked with a lot of top end brands now as well so he's got a, quite a lot of knowledge on what works at the moment in the market. So yeah, so I'm going to drop off some new stuff to him now that he wants uh, one of the new insignia range. Uh, he can test it out for me, see, see if he likes it. Yeah, we're just going to pop and see Ryan now in Fulham so we'll see the right man in a bit. Oh, 
How are you, boy? Good you. How are you doing, <laughs> Good, how are you? Uh, bad, mate, not Is this bad. new stuff? Do you like this idea? Lovely, yeah. Do I love these as well. Gold, mate. Come gold. on. <laughs> what's what's this here? gold celebrating? Two years. Is it? Yeah. You've been here for two years, boy. Oh my god, two years. You were there from the start. How is this already two years old? I don't know. Good work, right. boy. Well, you helped out with a lot of stuff, like I said earlier. With the, the sizes, the size, sizing and stuff more, innit? And the, the minimal branding look you like, which is getting bigger now, innit? Yeah, so I, remember, kind of... I remember when you first started your brand, your stuff was quite, some of it was quite loud. Yeah. But it was all, the, the first things you notice about this kind of stuff is just the, the material and the fit. It kind of hugs your physique in a really good way. So that was the thing that kind of drew me to the brand and obviously like the sort of ethos around the brand. But then now he's basically scaled it all back to this minimalistic, that, yeah. even that, like, being like that sort of grey scale yeah. colour just blends in. Love it, mate. The new insignia t shirt and long sleeve. The long khaki sleeve. performance t shirt V3, the new ones. Okay, so yeah. What was she giving me? Yeah, Look at so He's got the, a big Santa sack. <laughs> <laughs> That's for your Welsh heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Never lets me forget my Welsh heritage. Uh, God, mate. Yeah. A signed All Blacks jersey. By all of them, like, Sunny Bill the lot. <laughs> Wait, let me see if I can find some. That's definitely SBW yeah, there, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight to it! It's cool, isn't it? That's so good. It's man. like a playing jersey as well. See? What number is it? Uh, 18. It's all, all far. You know the one that's. Have you seen that one that the, the play the smashed uh, Australian number 10, four leaves? You know yeah, that video? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Huge hit. It was all far. Big hit. <laughs> the, 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 the guy, the one, uh, Max, in him, is he picked the pink? I like it. There's different colours. I, 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 I just hope go. whoever's won this boot is a good player. <laughs> <Yeah>. Otherwise, <laughs> he's in for a rough ride next time he plays. <laughs> What's the plan for 2018? Launch the new camo range in a subtle way. Joggers, this, and a t-shirt. To on-field gear as well. No, oh, really? So we're taking what we've done off the field, so like the good fit and stuff, and then we're going to kind of spice up on the field stuff. Are you going to be the new level rugby? I'll be better then. Better. <laughs> you heard it here. Better. You heard it here. December 14th. <laughs> better than level rugby, baby. Come on! Jenny, congrats on winning this uh, rugby warfare competition. It's an awesome brand. Scott is a lovely chap. I've been with him for two years. Great Christmas. Enjoy the kit, enjoy the supplements, the games. Probably won't be you be your sons, but <laughs> Merry Christmas. Come on. Nice one, boy. Yeah, boy! <laughs>
The looker, that's the thing, isn't it? It's the it's more about looking, well, and rugby boys want to show their rugby boys, get me? Yeah. You play rugby, you want to show yeah. your rugby boy. Yeah. So you want to wear, like, like there's loads of fitness brands that are cool looking clothing, like Gymshark and stuff, but like rugby boys want rugby stuff, not. Yeah, so you know, if you're a rugby player, generally you're going to be a bigger physique. Yeah. And you're going to want something that's going to show that off. Yeah. Whereas if you, um, you know, you buy the Canterbury stuff, it tends, tends to just be very generic yeah and then squat square cut in the bottom yeah. and just don't really care yeah. with the rugby warfare designs like we've they fit like bigger boys as well so we like we wrestle rugby is like six for five guys <laughs> so they fit all in the size because the taller you get like the, the the wider the tops go but they don't go longer they kind of that that's i mean we're not we're not hugely tall but i you know top. just over six foot you find yeah. that you find that the tops are all too short yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't get stuff that's a yeah. really good length and and it's really really how tall, you, how tall you max six foot one six, two two, two slash yeah. three yeah six, you're 17. yeah <laughs> oh you're 15 yeah yeah Damn. sam's still going we got him in yeah, growth I, think he's, I, think he's, I think he's like taller than me yeah, he probably is me <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to create tech packs so like if i have an idea I take it to the manufacturer, you have to have like these like tech packs created. Really? So I've got a designer then who's kind of in the same wavelength as me, uh, Chad, his name is. We've mm -hmm. kind of been at it like, so. It's, like brilliant, it's, it's brilliant stuff, it's brilliant stuff. Fine. The way, the, the designs are so unusual, but the mm. boys love them. I mean, even old men like me, like, yeah. I mean, it's got to keep, got to watch how you look if you're going to wear that kind of kit. It's got to keep bringing out new stuff slowly. Do you know like a lot, you, you know like, you say for example like Nike, they bring out new stuff. You don't know if they bought new stuff out. They bring too many new stuff out at the same yeah, time. Yeah. So I'm trying to kind of well, if, it's, sure. if it's a small, if it's a small line that you bring out but it's really well designed, then you, you hit it just right and yeah. you just keep it, just keep it fresh every yeah, now and again. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. Especially with these kind of modified these a bit now, moving forward. Yeah. New joggers. This is like a new hoodie. Yeah. One of the new Karma ones. I haven't seen out. that one before. So oh, yeah. Yeah. You want yeah. it. It's very so, nice. So this is a sample. This is, so I only wear samples. I don't even wear the actual stuff. Like, <laughs> I only wear samples around. But yeah, we're going to bring out new Karma Inch, which was like the best seller last year. Sack. 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 Cod. Have you got a cod? Uh, yeah. You've got it already. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I've got another one. <laughs> uh, I did ask your mother, I was like, do they, they have Xbox, the Call of Duty for Xbox, for PlayStation? And she said Xbox, but she didn't say you already had one. Ooh. They're out there, eh? <laughs> you better be scoring tries and ends. Yeah, <laughs> They're gonna hate you, like, you just... <laughs> This is a signed All Blacks jersey, plain yeah. jersey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the game it was played on is there. So France. Was it actually a game shirt? Yeah, yeah. 14th of the length, then there's the, the, the players here yeah, then. What are you going to do is a frame measure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've got a nice wall that'll go on. That yeah. yeah, we've got a barn and we've got a big old oh, stone. Oh, that's good. Just the job on. But then we've got Lee Byrne actually sent us then as well. Really? So he's obviously Welsh, Welsh boy. Yeah. But this is a book, honestly, a hell of a book. He's is got it? some stories in here, mad. These are high protein meals, so they're not, they're not like microwave meals. You do microwave them up, but they're freshly cooked. Like you would say, cook them tight and then you eat them within a week, but they're like high protein. So there's a few in there to try, and then when you're back in and jam, yeah, you can get a full week's worth of them because you've got them hauled in. Yeah, yeah, wow, boys, it's a big giveaway. Oh, cool. Hey, what you do is, um, you know, the designs are unique. And mm. for young men to wear sports gear that's also really well designed yeah. and looks really cool. It's brilliant. Really good, isn't it? It's really clever. There's been a massive shift in fashion itself. So people now want to be wearing sports fashion yeah. casually yeah. instead of separate and both. Yeah, well with the with the sort of the, the elite rugby players, the elite tennis players, you know, footballers have always had a thing for nice clothes yeah. and a nice style, but these lots of the other sports are going the same way now. Yeah. So we're up here with Jim now with Max, Sam, the winners of the Rugby Warfare giveaway. Gonna do the first lift now, bench press, just gonna go over form with the boys. They've already, well, you've already done a lot of yourself anyway, so to make sure the form is correct and basically just have a good session. So first exercise bench. And slowly like in the Rugby Warfare system, we kind of do our pyramids, we pyramid up. So we're just gonna increase the weight slowly until we get to about six reps and then deload it down. So that's what we're gonna do now.
Right, so we just done bench press, moving on to the other compound lift, which all rugby boys should do is deadlift. So we're gonna go over the technique. It's gonna be standard deadlift, not sumo or anything like that. Make sure the boys' technique is right. Slowly go up the weight. Basically make sure the form's right. Most people do deadlift wrong, where the back's hands go over and it's gonna cause injury. So we're just gonna try and get this, the confidence up in a deadlift. Then we're gonna move on to shoulder press for the bar. Military, military press with the bar. Um, and we've covered kind of three main compound lifts. Then finish off with some arms in there. It's Thursday. So yeah, so do some arms. <laughs> Right, so we've just done deadlifts. Boys, the form is really good to be fair. So we just did two or three sets on deadlift, put the weight on a bit. Form's perfect now, so obviously going forward, they can put more weight on and build up the deadlift strength, which is key, in my opinion, to on field performance and get these compounds well. Now we're moving on to military press with a bar. We're not going to bend the knees on the face, we're going to be locked all shoulder. Over the head. So we're going to make sure that technique's right. And then, yeah, we'll finish with arms. So, next exercise, shoulder. Right, so we uh, just finished off a session to the boys, they won the competition, well their mother as well, she she entered and they won the Rugby Warfare giveaway which is a massive bundle so they've been kitted out for Christmas. Came here, I didn't know what to expect, how good they were going to be but they're probably good, their form is good. Yeah. I think, you know, it was easy, easy to give them some guidance, they already knew the basics anyway so hopefully they'll just keep doing the basics but how did you find the session? I thought it was really good, it gave some good advice especially on the, the bench press, keeping your arms in mm. and pushing up because it isolates chest muscles especially he's 15 and he's strong as hell already so you know getting his technique right now early and he's strong anyway he's gonna just skyrocket same as you as well isn't it? so they're gonna skyrocket uh, but obviously when I look back at the winners and Jenny your mother was the winner I look back she's actually done orders anyway so they were actually kitted out in rugby warfare when we turned up to the house so this is the New Zealand at the end. That's yeah. the line today. What's, what's, what's good about the hoodie end? Well, with all the hoodies, they're extremely comfortable and they sort of stay comfortable and in good nick even after you've washed them once, which most brands don't. Mm -hmm. But the styling is unusual mm -hmm. and they fit really well as well, mm -hmm. especially for sort of bigger builds, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Good to you, the younger boys are like understanding what the brand's about because that's the key thing in it, like making sure that. The, the brand stays like well it's a, it's a young brand i'm only 25 i've gone through uni and this i've created it for the purpose of being stylish modern like durable and all that stuff so it's actually good to you you love it and I, also your dad and like the mother so it's not just the younger boys that love it Every, all you, yeah, yeah everybody loves it and it's that, that's what it's about like making good quality stuff right so we just finished the day uh just go back to london from oxford it's like nine o'clock um Really nice, really good day. Didn't really know what to expect to so pack the car up with the goodies to deliver them to the boys and and Jenny up there. And um, they were really nice. They loved the, they loved the prizes. All all I wanted to see was them loving the prizes, and they loved it. the signed All Blacks jerseys as well. They absolutely love it. So you know, I'm glad that I've uh, probably given some um, something good for Christmas. Really. But then we took them for a training session, and the boys were really good. They took on feedback, and they were quite good anyway. From, they they knew how to train, and they were only 15 and 17. So. That was it. That was good to do. It was easier for me. Yeah, overall, cracking boys. Thank you, Jenny, as well, for entering the mother. She's she's awesome. She's been a customer in the past. I had a look, so she's been supporting the brand from the start. So the boys are already kitted out in rugby warfare when I turned up. A awesome video, awesome day. I think, like, trying to do more of this stuff going forward. Like I mentioned earlier, the next video is Ross anyway. So we're going to kind of go back to the roots of Ross. But, yeah, good, uh, good day, and uh, hopefully the boys love the prizes. And, um, 
Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey!